Hi everyone, uh, it's been a while since I've made a tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to use uh, Photoshop files in Anime Studio. Um, for, I'm going to create a, a stage for like a concert and just make some special effects like spotlights and lens flares from cameras. And um, hopefully you guys can follow along and use this in, in your animations in Anime Studio. So here we have a blank document. I'm going to uh, paint a solid color and then I'm going to get the paintbrush and paint some uh, this highlights of different colors nothing real fancy just really light oops and then maybe some purple ish colors uh, oh. But it does, you don't have to add lights or anything like that. I'm just adding some uh, extra touches. Um, I'm also going to, I've already created a mask just to add kind of a, I forgot what this is called, but just a black edge all the way around the image. And also, I've already created a stage just so I could save time on the video. So there's just the background I've made of just like speakers and a stage platform. So to make special effects, or I mean to make um, parts that you can use in Anime Studio, what I'm going to do is create PNG files. Um, first I'm going to save this picture as a JPEG and just leave it at, call it stage on the desktop and then I'm going to flatten these layers so it's just one layer. Now I'm going to uh, add a new layer and first thing we're going to do is the spotlight so I'll uh, use my paintbrush, use a solid uh, brush and just paint a white circle. Oops, not black, white. With the uh, opacity and flow all the way up so it's a solid circle like that and then I'm gonna double click in my layers palette add a little glow outer glow to it like that and then I'm going to create a shape with the rectangle tool it's still on white so I'm just gonna draw a white box actually I'm gonna put it under the circle and then I'm going to use the uh, direct selection tool and select uh, these bottom points and just spread them out like a spotlight. And then I'm also going to add a mask and use a gradient to make it fade out like a spotlight would. And I'm also going to add a glow around this too. Outer glow. Just so it gives a little halo effect on the sides also. So once we have the a spotlight made, um, I'm going to select the circle and the spotlight beam and merge those together. And what I do to make them separate pieces to use in Anime Studio is I'm going to do a Command A, which selects everything on the screen. Or you can also go to, I think, Edit, uh, Select All, somewhere here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I use shortcuts all the time. So Command A, and then I'm going to do uh, at a new file. And because I select everything in the spotlight layer, it's going to create an image. Oops. Well, it should. Command select all oh and then do command C to copy and what it's going to do is copy the just the spotlight into the um, what do you call it uh, clipboard and when you create a new uh, image it's going to create the space just enough for the spotlight because it's on the on the clipboard so now I paste it and I'm gonna throw away the background so now we have just the spotlight you can see it's got a yellow halo around it and I'm going to save that 
as um, a PNG file. Spotlight PNG. That way it saves the transparency around it. Like that. Close that out. And now I'm also going to make a uh, lens flare. And I'll show you how to use that in Anime Studio in just a minute. Um, we'll create a new layer, create a circle with the selection tool, um, use your paint bucket to color that black, and then also we're going to do filter, render, lens flare. And I'm just going to put it kind of in the middle and make it a little bit brighter. And okay that, and since we have the circle selected still, I'm just going to do a Command C to copy, do a new uh, document, and then paste it. And just like before, delete the background and save this as a camera uh, flash. PNG. So it saves the transparency and do OK. So now we have three different images. We have the camera flash, spotlight, and the stage saved. So now I'll show you how to um, import those into Anime Studio.